Hi everyone, welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike, and Happy Christmas! Yes, Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Happy Joy Joy. Yeah, it's that、mm-hmm. time of year, and、hey. we're going to be looking at Christmas traditions in today's article. Did,、mm-hmm. did your family back when you were a kid, especially,、mm-hmm. have any kind of cool Christmas traditions? Gosh, well, we did a lot of the normal ones. You、mm-hmm. know, we bought the, the tree a few weeks before, decorated it, the presents, did the stockings in the morning, opened the presents, big breakfast. Have dinner later on, go to church, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. we did most of that as well. One that we did do when I was a kid,、uh, we'd open the、mm-hmm. stocking presents early, as,、okay. as kids do. Yeah. But the main ones under the tree, we would、right. be, we'd walk past the room with the tree. Okay. Have a quick look at all the gifts for all the family members because people would often come and stay. Grandmas、right. and so on. Right. So and the number of presents would change. Yeah. yeah. And my dad would get some from his work. Right. That sort sure, of thing. Sure. Sure. You'd have. Have to guess how many presents there were. You write down your total、guess. number, not total, just for you, right? Total for number. Wow.、Okay. And then we count them as we open them,、uh-huh. and whoever got closest to the correct、I、number、see. of total presents got a special little extra present. That would be hard because if it was like you'd have presents under presents, right? So you wouldn't actually be able. To see all of the presents. Yeah, you can't just go one, two, three, four. No, okay. No, no, no. You're kind of guessing a little bit. Indeed, you oh, are. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that was always fun. Yeah.、Uh, my dad always won. Really? Pretty much. He's just very good at that kind of thing. You think he was sneaking in early in the morning and counting them? I think he and Santa Claus had an understanding. Though I never saw them in the same room together. Interesting. Santa was sending him sneaky notes with the right Maybe. answer. Maybe.、Hmm. Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today: Christmas traditions,、uh, ones from Christmas, but also ones that come from a holiday older than Christmas.、Huh. Let's check it out. Reading. Before there was Christmas, there was Yule. These days, Christmas is celebrated all over the world. Although you don't have to be religious to celebrate Christmas, it is thought of as a Christian festival. However, many of its roots don't actually come from Christianity. They actually come from an old Germanic pagan festival called Yule. Yule was a time when people got together to have lots of food and fun. It provided relief from what would be a very long, dark, and cold winter. A major part of Yule was the wild hunt. Spirits were led through the skies by Odin, a powerful god, causing great damage as they went. It was thought that if you saw the wild hunt, something awful would soon happen. Some people even believed that if you spoke to a hunter, you'd be forced to join them. Yule also included Madrinet, which was held on what is now Christmas Eve, and celebrated female fertility. Although not many people now celebrate Yule, many of its traditions still appear as Christmas festivities. So the article begins by saying, "These days, Christmas is celebrated." All over the world. No,、well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Even in places you wouldn't normally expect it to be, Christmas is a very, very popular holiday. And the article explains kind of why. It says although you don't have to be religious to celebrate Christmas, it is thought of as a Christian festival. Yes.、Yeah, so for Christian people, it's the day that we celebrate the birth of Jesus and、mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. But you don't have to be religious. You don't have to be Christian or any religion at all, really, to celebrate Christmas. Christmas, because it's also just a happy, fun holiday, and you can celebrate it in lots of different ways. Yeah, and the kind of idea of buying gifts, obviously,、exactly. en- encourages that side、yeah. of it. To- happy and fun. Yeah. So we now learn about Christmas.、Mm. However, many of its roots don't actually come. From Christianity,、oh. so yeah, we think about the birth of Jesus.、Mm-hmm, you know、mm-hmm. how two thousand twenty odd years ago, but there are older roots, kind of、mm. things that come even before that event,、uh, that or before Christianity really spread around. And we say it don't. The these roots don't actually come from Christianity, 
actually is an adverb, and it's used to show that something is true. It's、mm. this is what's real. This is what is an actual fact. So you may expect one thing, but actually it's this thing. For example, we could say, "You might think it's strange." But I've never actually tried sushi before. Really, that is、yeah. kind of unusual. It is indeed. All right. Oh, there you go. So, look back to the article. It says they actually some of these Christian or Christmas, I should say, traditions. They actually come from an old Germanic pagan festival called Yule.、Mm. Yeah, there you go. So this is something that Germans or people who lived in German Germany, the, what we call Germany. Thousands of years ago, even before the time of Jesus, they had this festival. They called it Yule, so it's the same time of year. Maybe some of the same traditions, but it wasn't Christmas. That's not what they were celebrating. When we use this term Germanic, we mean it comes from Germany or that central part of Europe. What might be parts of Poland today, or Austria, or parts of Western France, or sorry, Eastern France or、mm-hmm. Belgium, that kind of area. When we think of the Germanic people, they often had a lot of wars against the Romans. They two, did indeed three thousand years ago. So that's the kind of area today we would call it Germany or Denmark or something like that. But back in the old days, before they had that country, the people there were the Germanic people. I think English has roots、yes. from the Germanic languages、It、too. It does right, indeed. Going back thousands of years. And these weren't just Germanic; they were pagan. The word pagan can be a noun meaning a person or an adjective describing a thing. Previously, it meant that this person or this religion or this tradition was not Christian, Jewish, or following the Roman religion at the time. These days, we've given it a bit more of a broad definition. It means any kind of religious beliefs that are not from the world's major religions, and pagan beliefs are often more to do with nature and nature-based religions. And this whole festival was called Yule. That's right. So there you are. You've traveled in your time machine back more than two thousand years. You're in what's today Germany. It's、mm-hmm. around Christmas. People are having a holiday, but it's not Christmas. So what was it? Well, Yule was a time when people got together to have lots of food and fun. Sounds like Christmas Sounds so far. Sounds very much like Christmas and Chinese New Year. That's true and too. Several other kinds. They might be of... eating different food and celebrating a different festival in a slightly different way. But it's the middle of winter. You get together with your friends and family. You have a big meal and a really good time.、Mm. It kind of sounds like Christmas or Chinese New Year or Tet or、yes. many other types of holidays around that time of year. And the time of year. Is kind of important, I think.、Here. It is very important,、yeah. as the article explains. It Yule、mm-hmm. provided relief from what would be a very long, dark, and cold winter.、Yeah. Of course, in northern Europe, you're likely to get a lot of snow.、Sure. The days will be a lot shorter.、Yep. It's a hard time. Some people wouldn't live through that season, and they would always be kind of praying and hoping that、mm. the sun and summer would return. And that's what this idea is about. It's a hard time, so let's just have a big party and kind of pray together for the hot weather to come back. Absolutely. And I don't know about you, but when I was a kid after Christmas, I'd be kind of sad because you know it would just be cold and dark for a few more months、yeah. until the spring comes. So this really was a nice break from some of the difficult times that winter can bring to people in these cold parts of the world. So what else would we find if we were celebrating? Yule with the Germanic peoples from long ago. It says a major part of Yule was the Wild Hunt. Oh, wow! Is that like Witcher Three, the Wild Hunt PC game? It's probably got some things in do, common. The、yeah. Witcher is a Polish that's right series of books,、yeah. so it's the right part of the world. Cool. So, what is the Wild Hunt? We see spirits were led through the skies by Odin, a、Ooh. powerful god. Causing great damage as they went. Isn't that Thor's dad? It is. Yeah,、Ooh. you'll probably know Odin from the Marvel movies these、oh, yeah. days, the one-eyed god. But he was the chief Norse god, and his kind of other name, Woden,、mm-hmm. uh, was the Germanic name for the、mm. same god. It's where we get the word Wednesday. That's right. Woden's day, Wednesday. So we were just talking about the god Odin. And one of the things I mentioned was that Wednesday, the day of the week, comes from Odin's more German name, Woden. 
Woden's Day becomes Wednesday. And in fact, the days of the week in English are mostly named in a similar way. Many of them are after old Germanic or Norse gods. We'll talk about the Norse a bit tomorrow. And a couple of others are named after different things. So let's start with Monday. Monday is Moon's Day. That's where we get the name uh, in German, Montag. Moon's Day becomes Monday in English, okay? Tuesday is Tears Day. Uh, T-Y-R, Tyr, he was also a Germanic and Norse god, and so that gives us Tuesday. Of course, we've mentioned Wednesday is Woden's Day or Odin's Day. Thursday, you guys should be able to guess this one, Thursday is Thor's Day, and I'm sure I don't need to say much more about Thor, as the god has become such a famous Marvel character. So Friday, there are a couple of thoughts about this. Some people say it's Freya's Day. Some people say Frith's Day, Frigg's Day. There are different names for this same Norse goddess. She was kind of the kind of the mother goddess of that particular religion. Okay, Saturday is a bit different. Saturday uh, was Saturn was the Roman god. They associated him with time. So Saturday is Saturn's day. In German, it's got a slightly different name and it comes from a different kind of religion. But in English, that's the only one that comes from a Roman religion. And Sunday brings us back to where we started with a day being named after something up in the sky. Monday is Moon's Day and Sunday, as is pretty obvious, is the Sun's Day, the Day of the Sun. Back then, people would think of the sun and moon as gods and worship them. So that is where the days of the week come from, the names in English at least. So let's go back to the article and learn more about Odin and the Wild Hunt. There you go. Okay. Uh, we also saw that this god led spirits. Spirits, uh, this is just another word for ghosts, okay? Uh, people who used to be alive but are not, but they're kind of spirits, their souls keep living. They could be thousands of years old, that kind of thing. For example, we could say, they saw that this castle is haunted by the spirits of long dead knights. Wow. Yeah, ghosts, basically. The ghosts of old knights. Okay, very interesting. And we also had this word powerful. I don't want to meet a powerful spirit or any spirit, but especially not the powerful kind. Yes, because powerful means having a lot of power. It's very strong. So if I was thinking of a powerful spirit, I would think of something maybe from a scary movie or something like that. It's strong, it's powerful, it might do bad things to me, and I can't do anything to it because it has a lot more power than I do. Sports cars are powerful cars. Elephants are powerful animals. Anything that, you know, is a slightly bit stronger or much stronger than most normal things, we would probably use this adjective powerful in lots of different situations. Here's another one you might hear on the news. A powerful storm is expected this weekend. You should stay home and keep safe. And of course, a typhoon, that's a powerful storm. So the wild hunt, powerful specter, powerful spirits, Odin's all around. This is a pretty important holiday. Yeah, and a pretty scary thing. Because yeah. here's something else about the wild hunt. Right. The article says it was thought that if you saw the wild hunt, something awful would soon happen. Oh my gosh. Yeah, something awful. Awful means. Terrible. It's horrible. It's really bad in some way or shape or form.、Mm. For example, have you heard the awful news? Oh no! What? Our teacher is going to give us a surprise quiz today. Oh, that's awful. That's、yeah. terrible. That's horrible. That's、yes. really, really bad. Indeed. Okay. Well, at least it's not an awful, terrible, powerful spirit.、Mm. Anyways, back to the article. Some people even believe that if you spoke to a hunter. You'd be forced to join them. Wow! So these are powerful spirits. They're on a on a hunt, and if you're a normal person who just sees them, you're in big trouble. And if you actually talk to one of these ghosts, you would join them. You would be a member of the power of the wild hunt, and I guess die and never、mm. see your family again. And oh my gosh, that would be a terrible thing to be forced to do. When we force 
someone, here we're using force as a verb, we're making you do it. You have no choice. All right. If the police tell you to do something, if your boss or your teacher, or your parents tell you to do something, and you say, "Do I have to?" and they say, "Yes," and you know that if you don't, you could be in trouble. You are being forced to do that thing. Hopefully, it's something you're being forced to do because it's helpful or will keep you safe or something like that. Here's something. Well, people are being forced to do, and they might not be happy about it. Our boss is forcing us to go to his birthday party after work. On Friday,、oh. we can't say no. We have to go. Oh no! Oh, and I bet his wife is gonna sing, and she's a terrible singer. Okay,、uh. well, that's this wild、yes. hunt thing. That was one kind of bad thing about Yule. It was a superstition、right. that people had. But here's one of the other kind of good things that was part of this kind of long festival.、Okay. We see, and I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. I'm sure, but、oh. Yule also included. Modernit, 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 modernit. I am not sure. I'm not an ancient Germanic people. No,、uh, but what we do know, modernit, which was held on what is now Christmas Eve, and celebrated female fertility. Oh, interesting. Okay, just in the same way that Christmas kind of celebrates Mary, right, giving birth to Jesus. That's true. Even though she didn't. You know,、it's, Joseph didn't help. It's the biggest Christian holiday with Jesus's mother、mm -hmm. being a part of it.、That's、right.、True. So there are you can see the links、yeah. here. Okay. So this this festival, this particular day,、mm. celebrates female fertility. Female, of course, just means to do with women, girls, that kind of thing. For example, we might say,、uh, "My grandmother was one of the first female pilots in the Air Force.、Really? She was a woman. She was a pilot." So she was a female pilot. There you go. It's a term we would use when talking about women in a more sort of scientific kind of way. Yes. Something like that. Otherwise, you might say ladies or girls or something like that. Anyways, back to the article. It celebrates female fertility. What is fertility? Well, it's the ability to have babies. If we're talking about People and animals, but also just to reproduce. So we could talk about the fertility of plants as well,、mm. because plants have to make new versions of themselves, seeds and things like that, babies and things like that. And as babies become adults, they have their own children. And this is fertility at work: the ability to have babies or just to reproduce. Like plants do.、Mm, so female fertility is, of course, basically celebrating the mothers, ladies, you know? babies, the ability to have kids. Yes, keep、stuff. to keep people and families continuing,、yep. and so on. Okay, so there's different parts of Yule as we see, and the article then says, although not many people now celebrate Yule, many of its traditions still appear as Christmas. Festivities,、yeah. okay. As we've pointed out, these little connections between、mm. things of Yule and things of Christmas. So, in that sentence, we use the word festivities. We used it as a plural.、Uh, it often does appear as a plural. The singular form is festivity, but when we're talking about the plural form, festivities, we mean activities or events that celebrate a special occasion. And festivities and the adjective festive mean things like lively, joyful. It's a celebration. Everybody's happy. So festivities are all the activities that go around often a holiday. Chinese New Year festivities would be going to temple, setting off fireworks, giving red envelopes, wearing red clothes, that kind of thing. Here we're talking about Christmas festivities. Okay, so that's basically what this first part of the article is about.、Mm. We've introduced the idea of Yule.、Mm -hmm. We've talked about where it comes from, and we're saying there's a lot of these similarities between Yule and Christmas, and indeed other winter festivals. Now, in tomorrow's lesson, we're going to look more specifically at a、okay. few of those traditions. Talk about the what happened then, what we do now, kind of thing. Right now, though, we're going to go to our for you chat question and talk about this idea of winter festivals. For you chat. So our for you chat question is: Why do you think many cultures have 
large festivals in the winter. Ah, interesting question. Well, I think it's something that we do notice as we go around the world, country to country, culture to culture. A lot of different cultures also have. Festivals at the end of the summer, the beginning of the fall, right?、Mm-hmm. Either Halloween or Thanksgiving, things like that. The farmers' work is done; they've collected all their food for the winter. But then the winter months can be long and dark and difficult too.、Mm. So, kind of almost halfway, a little bit into the winter, maybe a couple months after. You have some of those fall festivals. It kind of makes sense.、Mm-hmm. You've made it halfway through the winter. The spring is closer than it was before. It's closer to you now than the fall is to you in the past. So it's kind of a good time to have one big, big party, and then everyone can go back to their home and stay inside for two more months,、mm. and then hopefully the spring will arrive soon after. So I think it's just a good way to break up. The difficult three, four, five month period of that winter season. Yeah, also a good way to keep warm. Really, good way to keep big, warm. Big fire, lots、sure. of food, that kind of thing. Maybe sharing food as well at、yeah. that point. They're you know running out, so let's share a bit more. Yeah, keep everybody in the community going. Yeah, and as I mentioned earlier, I think a part of it, a big part of it, is praying. People back then were a little more superstitious.、Mm-hmm. Their beliefs and their knowledge didn't kind of have this idea. Of, Of course, the spring、sure. will come back. It always does. Maybe it won't. Yeah, they have to think. What if it doesn't?、Yeah. You know, what if it's a long winter this year? That's、mm-hmm. going to be terrible. So they're praying not just for a shorter winter, but for just spring to come at all. They would believe we've got to maybe make a sacrifice or、mm. do something to make sure the sun comes back. Otherwise, it won't be happy. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I think Chinese New Year does have a part of that. Yes. Yeah.、Uh, yeah. It's the same. It's later in the year than Christmas, but it is kind of saying, okay, spring is about、mm. to be here. You know, we're, we're going to light lanterns. We're going to start the new year. And as people started to measure the years, then you bring in other things as well. Looking back to kind of say, what did we learn from that year? What do we want to leave behind? What are we going to do next year now that everything's new again? Right. So that's part of it too. Okay, that's all we have time for today. But join us again tomorrow as we look at some common Yule and Christmas traditions. See you then. Take care. Vocabulary review. Actually, I'd like to buy this expensive car, but I don't actually have enough money for it. Spirit. Some people believe that on Halloween, spirits come back to visit living people. Powerful. Luckily, this wasn't a powerful storm, so it didn't cause any damage. Awful. This food tastes awful. We won't come back to this restaurant again. Force. The boss forced Allie to leave her job. He told her that he would fire her if she didn't leave. Female. This store only sells female clothes, so not many men shop here. 智慧小补帖 Germanic. Pagan. Fertility. Festivities. Triple W.English.Cu.Net.